Hey guys, welcome to the Retro Gaming Junction. This is Camilio, and we're continuing our game of Arcanum. We're very close to the end. Uh, what we're gonna do today is teleport to uh, Caledon. Let's go see our stash. I'm gonna distribute potions to everybody. I'm gonna remove a ton of stuff that I really don't need anymore. Uh, let's see what we can. Yeah, we'll drop this. Unknown chemical compound. Probably useful for some other quest that I don't have access to. Um. Staff of healing. I like these staff. They're not super heavy. Diamond necklace. Well, this is all stuff to sell. I should have sold it. It's too late now. Mastery medallion of temporal. Oh. What does that do? Give him this arcane. It's only at half power. But this one is magic power 97 available. He likes it. No, it's 50%. But it's still better than what he had. I'll keep it just in case it breaks. Uh. Again, I can, I can live with what he has. Let's dump a couple of potions here. Eh, whatever. Okay, I don't think I need any of these. Base, good evening. Eh, it's fine. An alley, I think so, yeah.
at your discretion. Uh, I think everybody has great weapons. Mystic Staff, 60 mana. <laughs> then you have this plus a backup sword. This plus this plus you can make swords. This plus these. I guess this is kind of crap. Why do I have this? You have this. You even have a backup sword. You're using this even though... Yeah, the, the staff was actually working for him. I don't know if... Because he had the staff, he was using magic more, but it was it was working. Yeah, we're good. We're good. You can't stack items. No, no, not the potion. No, you can't stack any items, but you have a lot of space. So as you can see, it's not a big problem. If you're not that much of a hoarder like me, uh, the inventories are not that cluttered it's just because i don't know why i keep the smoking jacket don't ask any questions Are you prepared to face Aranax? Yes. Then it is time. May your gods Saying this leveled me up. the other side and help you to stop Aranax. They had better, or we're all in for a bit of trouble. Blah. No cutscenes, nothing. God, fuck that. The Void. We're done. We are done. We must be somewhere around here. I'm here? What? Okay. Everybody's fine. Ah, oh, this guy used the uh, potion I gave him. He's the only one who seemed to have used them. I didn't give him any potions. Uh, yeah, let's level up. Two points. Yeah, I didn't know what to do with my points, really. Maybe some dodge. I mean, that's always good. In terms of magic, maybe more healing. This spell protects the caster from undead. Okay, just undead. Uh, 
Oh, I'm gonna keep these points. Stop Aronax. Your expertise leaves something to be desired. That's because somebody did a critical miss. I might be able to wait. I might be able to wait here. They, they don't attack me? <laughs> they respect me now? I don't care, I need the XP. Maybe No, don't go around. Let's just explore. Probably enemies. Oh shit, that's a big one. As you can see, uh, we don't have any problem with the combat. And these like these are like and and the creatures. And even sometimes I will fall, I will die, and they will revive me. Um, they're good on the reviving and the healing. As you can see, they revive. Jung, jung, jung. You'll see like these blue hollow around people while we're fighting. Uh, and I'm sure everybody, their health is all up. Sometimes this guy will not get healed. Um, because, well, he, he's just on the verge. Character sheet. Oof. Did you get more stuff? Yeah, well, my god, I'm, I'm surprised that he's that high. Um, but healing is about 50-50 on this guy. Um, do I want to go there? Seems like progress. Let's take a peek. Dark champions. Oh, they're not attacking me. I don't know why. Let's not go there. Let's go back to the other area. Oh, we can't? Let's go 
up here then. Okay, these pads might be just receiver pads. We're back in the first area now. Okay, this is a receiver pad. The other ones have structure. This one doesn't have any structure around them. So these are receiver, I think. This is one that sends you. Okay, and, and there's nothing else except that stair, those stairs. They're not attacking me. Oh. That's your business. I'm here for Aronax. Get out of my way. No particular reason. I'll be on my way. Oh, no reason they're okay with that. Okay, I can't even... Uh, yeah, they'll attack me. Oh, no, they don't give a shit. Hello? Aronax already? I don't think this is the end. I, I mean, we're close, but not that close. Yes? What is it? Before you sits an elf, his legs crossed, his head down. An air of weariness surrounds him. He notices your presence and slowly, purposefully, stands and addresses you. Yes, what is it? Aronax, I'm pres I presume? Your presumption is correct. And who might I have the pleasure of addressing? Well, what brings you to my corner of oblivion? Enough with the pleasantry. I've come to stop you. I've become involved in events beyond my control. That is a feeling I have much familiarity with. Sometimes I feel that my fate was decreed from an early age. You're here because your actions. Not some cruel twist of fate. Do not misunderstand me. I take full responsibility for my actions. Though, how are one's actions determined, really? How is our view of the world shaped? Mine was shaped by arguably the most powerful individual in the world, my father. He raised me on tales of the righteous superiority of the elves and the destiny that brought us to rule over all the races. I don't think it was Nasruddin's intent that you destroy a whole city. What did he expect? He shoved a young, immature, and inexperienced fool into a position of immense power and set me loose on the world. Why didn't he stop me? He should have stopped me. Wait, are you trying to tell me you feel guilt over what you did? Most certainly. I have had 2,000 years of my grievous errors and judgment replaying themselves in my mind. One tends to grow a bit of a conscience in all that time. You'll excuse me if I don't believe you're overcome with guilt. What was your new conscience when you threatened my life? I did no such thing. I've been here for ages. Do you really think I could reach across the void to torment you? I thought you had your lies. Come out of your shell and fight me. <laughs> you fool! You think this is my protection? This is my prison! I've been trapped inside this shell for nearly 2,000 years! <laughs> Wait, that's impossible. This must be some sort of trick. I assure you, it is not a light-hearted jest, though I wish that it were. I have been trapped here since soon after I was banished to this realm. Who could have possibly trapped someone of your powers here? If someone trapped you, I need to speak with them. Good day. This is Kurgan's doing. When I first came here and realized what he was becoming, I attempted to stop him. Our battle was intense, yet brief. As you can see, I was not the victor. The criminal that you had ate that you ate and had banished? One and the same. It looked as if I was correct as to the effects of his experimentation. His dark magics have transformed him hideously in body and spirit. You think it could be behind all of this? Tell him your story. To regret him having Let's go with this. Being that I am trapped in here, my opportunities to get information are, shall we say, a bit limited. On the rare occasion Kurgan has deigned to visit me to play his intellectual games, he has dropped some veiled clues that might make sense in light of what you've told me. If I had to hazard a guess, I would say Kurgan is impersonating me. 
to what end? It sounds as if these dark elves you mentioned have patterned themselves after the misguided philosophy of my youth. They are proving to be powerful allies in his quest to return to Arcanum, it seems. I doubt they would be willing to help Kurgan the terrible return to exact his revenge. So Kurgan is the one I'm here to stop. That would appear to be the case. If you were able to facilitate my release from this prison, it would be my pleasure to help you destroy Kurgan. I'm not sure I can trust you. Of course I'll help you. I can get you out of here. Truth. Oh, plot twist. Of course I'll help you. I can get you out of here. Lie. Ow, Kurgan defeated you last time you fought. I'm not saying it will be easy to defeat Kurgan. In fact, the attempt might be fatal. Yet, I believe it worth the risk. We cannot let him return to Arcanum. It would mean the end of all life there. I have a few acquaintances on this side that may be interested in helping us as well, should you succeed in releasing me. I have the Vendrigod device. Then our task should be at least a fraction easier. All we need to do is hurt him enough so that he attempts to regenerate himself, and then you can use the device on him. Of course, this is easier spoken of than accomplished. I'm afraid I do not know. I do not believe Kurgan could maintain this from a distance, so there must be something near here. What are your questions? I do not know. I would assume the gate they are building is located somewhere near Kurgan's castle, though. I do not know much, but what I do know is that there used to exist some sort of civilization here, and the world was not broken up into distinct land masses. I do not know if some ancient war destroyed this realm, or if it was the doing of one of the heinous villains the Council banished. Council didn't even know what the Void was. It seems irresponsible in hindsight, but at the time they felt the Void was oblivion. Nothing was supposed to be over here. What is it that you wish of me, then? What happened to you and Kurgan when you got here? When I first came here and realized what he was becoming, I attempted to stop him. Our battle was intense, yet I was a bit full of myself back then. All the damage and death I... What is it that you wish of me, then? Why did you destroy Vendegrad? That is the great shame of my life. After I had convinced the Council to banish Kurgan, I felt I could do no wrong. When Vendegroth laughed off my warnings, I felt they needed a display of my power. In destroying one of their factories, I killed several innocent people. When they began constructing their device to protect themselves from my unprovoked attacks, I lashed out without thinking and destroyed them all. My fear of what technology could bring was so pervasive, I never thought there was any other solution. You sound as if you regret your actions. Most certainly. I have had two thousand years of my grievous errors in judgment replaying themselves in my mind. One tends to grow a bit of a conscience in all that time. I still think of my father and what I did to him. Even though he must bear a fair share of the blame for what happened, I do not think he deserved his fate. How can you blame your father for what happened? Do not misunderstand me. I take full responsibility for my actions. Though, how are one's actions determined, really? How is our view of the world shaped? Mine was shaped by arguably the most powerful individual in the world, my father. He raised me on tales of the righteous superiority of the elves and the destiny that brought us to rule over all the races. What is it that you wish of me, then? What are your questions? I do not know much, but what... What is it that you wish of me, then? When I first came... What is it that you wish of me, then? I think Kurgan needs to be stopped. I could not concur more vigorously. If what you would facilitate... I'm afraid I do not know. I do not believe Kurgan could maintain this from a distance, so there must be something near here. I must find a way to release you, or... What is it that you wish of me, then? How can I release you? I'm afraid you? I do not know. I do not believe Kurgan could maintain this from a distance, so there must be something near here. Okay. I'm off. Release... Uh, what's his name? Aromax? So, do 
must be near here. This is a very small place. When you say near here, do you mean like here or? <laughs> Let's go here. Okay. This comes back, I guess. No, it doesn't. Oh, okay, okay. oh shit. Okay, I'd release that one next. Let's kill these fuckers. Shit, I'm gonna die. Okay, we're good. Nobody died. Did I level up or something? Did they... Somebody casted Ace and it wasn't me. Yeah, somebody casted something on this guy. Mr. Caster here is actually getting pretty crazy. He has invisibility all the way. Fire all the way. That's it. Well, and some healing. Healing all the way. And she's also somewhat magic. Healing and water, I think. Yeah, water. Okay, well, let's not go there. Let's... Hello. I don't care about you, you're dying. Get to level 50 and by the end of the stream. Oh, 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 shit, oh, shit. Weapon dropped. Somebody dropped their weapon. So, as you can see, they, they totally manage. Yeah, this guy was getting low, boop, 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 everybody's healed, and we're good. <laughs> they don't even need me. Half of the time, I'm... I'm... Uh, I'm stunned on the ground. I'm just sleeping while the battle's going on, and the battle's finished, and then I wake up, like... So, oh, how'd it go? Cool, okay, let's go. <laughs> let's go, we're good. Uh, but this is a good place to make some XP. Uh, three points, but again, I don't know what to do with these points. But no. Not sure. So I'm not gonna go here. Some people add. Um, oh my god! Kind of. Hmm. 
Maybe I shouldn't have attacked the people in the front. <laughs> I don't know. I made everybody inside aggressive. Uh, yeah, we need to advance an hour. I want to check. Someone dropped a sword. Uh, it's you because you didn't have it. Did you have a choice? Let's see, the sword must be somewhere here. Somebody probably picked it up. So everybody has a sword. Whoops. Oh, it's you and it's not a sword, it's your staff. Somebody pick up a staff somewhere? No. No, nobody has a staff. It's somewhere here on the ground. Pick it up, guys, I believe in you. Right, it was here or here, I can't remember. Not a big deal, I'm gonna give you my sword and fuck that. Let's reload here. <laughs> I'm not gonna attack the people in the, in the front. Maybe that's gonna be better. Let's not attack these fuckers. This guy, do you have your, your stuff? No, you don't? Okay. <laughs> can't click on this because they don't let me That's the case, and yeah, I was I was fine the whole time here. I was fine. Let's just give a sword to this guy. Does he like suck ass at melee? No, 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 no. no. He's actually, very good. Um, let's go turn base. Oh, this time it wasn't as crazy. Everybody's dead. No, let's go out because I wanna, I wanna sleep. Because she sucks at melee, I think. But I don't have any arrows. I could have. Well, no shops has more than ten, more than a uh, hundred arrows, and I would need about five hundred arrows. I think it's just she goes through arrows so fast. 
Arrows are good in this game. They're just... We use them too much. Oh, shit. That's good. Let's go in real time. I have these things already. Yeah. Well, Mystic Staff, you know what? It's not how this game works. <laughs> I, can't I, I can't just do this and drop it on Dante. That doesn't work. Oh, anybody that I give him this gonna use it instead of... Uh, that's fine. Actually, a sun outside. There seem to be a a difference in lighting past time. How may I help you? It is done.
Get many, many top hats <clears throat> in this game. No, no. this is this the progress it's like a portal it's like a portal go up the stairs there we go Wait anymore. I have some potions. Okay, we have no map. In the, who's taking the damage? Her? Can I ask her to move? Or like I'm stuck now. It's it's all Raven, and somebody else is healing her while she's doing her thing. She's gonna do it. She's not the best character. She can do this. As soon as I get up, I should probably take something here. Double click, there you go. Something happened, I got my fatigue back. Oh, did somebody use a... Somebody might have used the potion on me? 
Yeah, that's possible. Nice. Let's go while we have these summons. I'm dying. I'm dying, guys. I'm dying. We need more healing. That's not enough. I'm down. Fucking crazy. Okay. So teleport here. There was other places we could have been, like here. I don't know if there was a teleport. Let's go back. City dweller. So, Black Mountain Clan. Feels like the Black Mountain Clan. Everybody's dead. I can't wait. I would have to. Go back outside. Oh, there's some people, live people here. Live people. Okay, 16. I need to get inside completely so everybody gets in. <laughs> Grinjar Silver Armor, tell me, did Stenar reach you? Yes, but he died before you could tell me what was happening. Stenar, he hangs his head with a moment. How did he die? He perished in a horrible Zeppelin crash. A Zeppelin? What is that? It's an airship. A boat that flies suspended under a large balloon. What? I've never heard such a thing. How is this possible? The world has changed greatly since you've been here. No doubt driven by dwarven ingenuity and technological advances. After Bates' engine, the humans began developing machines. So our folly haunts us once again. If only we had harnessed that boy's ideas. What might have been? Well, that is of no consequence now. If we hadn't made some error in judgment, the Dark Elves could exploit another clan would have. The Dark Elves have been lying in wait looking for a way to bring some dwarves over to it, to this side. They knew that technology would eventually weaken the wars to the point of failure, but they decided to accelerate the process. They needed a machine to open the rift back up by distorting the already weakened wards. An elf couldn't make a machine to save his life. 
and then Bates made a steam engine. Exactly. King Nolgare should be able to fill you in on the rest. The bitterness in his voice is barely dis disguised. He was the one that they convinced to banish us. We were shocked, to say the least. But our king had spoken about... Uh, spoken. He bows his head. We were told our banishment was to the Isle of Despair. But this is where we ended up. I can assure you, King Logar had no idea to their, of their true intent. He's right there. Of course, you are right. Our king would never betray us knowingly. Logar nods grimly, grimly silently. As soon as we arrived here, we were beaten mercilessly and thrown in chains. As our work progress on the gate, Senar formulated a plan. As soon as the gate had any functionality, it would go through an attempt to warn the other side. We knew that this uh, uh, that his absence would be noticed, and that they would try to stop him. Please go on. He began preparations to disguise himself as a gnome. He starred himself to the point of sickness, and when the gate was near readiness, he shaved his beard. He believed that the full responsibility for what had befallen us was his. He would do whatever he thought was necessary to make things right, even that. What happened after he went through? They tortured some of the clan to force us to reveal his plans, but we didn't break. We knew they needed us to finish the gate, and then, he <laughs> he, we had been disabling the gate in various ways for months. For all they knew, we still had months ahead of us to finish the thing, when we could have been finished months before, and then. They killed half of the clan in the last effort to force us to talk. We still did not break, and now we are all that is left of our great, our once great clan. I will return to free you when I have killed those responsible. Serves you right, you arrogant dwarf, or be brought here. Okay, so this was totally optional. But, all of this filled up while we were talking, so that's cool. Uh, no, 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 there's another. Uh, it's not there. Shit, is it already the end? And finally this moment has come. I am Kurgan. I think it is. I would think not. Although I know that you've already... If only I could show you the places I see. I see. Okay. But there's still some stuff we can explore then. Uh, in the void. And we also need... We don't need to... I think he helps us in the fight. Well, there's a lot of talking there. Um, but since we're pretty ne near the end, I think I'm going to take a break. But we'll, we'll go outside here. And we'll explore the rest of the void. This music reminds me of Phantasmagoria 2. I know it's like kind of strange reference, but there's a part at the end of that game that has a music that is very similar to this. Like it's noise and music. It's it's not clear what is what. This looks like something. Like a device. I don't know. Oh shit, this wasn't even the exit. Damn. This place is big. Did we do everything here? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, 
Okay, this is it. Yeah, but outside there was another portal. I should have done a hard save in front of Aronax, but it's fine. Let's do avoid four. Okay, I'll take a break. We'll come back and uh, we'll definitely finish this game. With SimCity 3000, you have more power to build and control your city than ever before. Recreate your version of the world's greatest cities using landscapes such as San Francisco or Berlin and landmark buildings like the Empire State Building or Big Ben. Create your own unique buildings using the SimCity Building Architect Tool. Then zoom in close to your metropolis as it comes to life with people and traffic in living color and full 3D sound. All new missions and cool disasters test your abilities to run your city or destroy it. SimCity 3000, the city is yours. Taking the best elements from Lucasfilm Limited's Star Wars movie, the engaging heroes, the horrific aliens, the terrorizing Imperial forces, the thrilling flying and fighting, the strange settings, and the mystifying powers of the Force, and adding interactivity. Players can choose to be Luke Skywalker, Han Solo, or Chewbacca to do battle with the dark side of the Force and determine the fate of the galaxy. Super Star Wars features 14 levels, each crammed with huge detailed graphics and smooth realistic animation super star wars is a hit from the burning deserts of tantooine the maze-like interior of a sand crawler the moss eisley bar to your final confrontation with the awesome death star all the action from the movie is here but the outcome is up to you do you have what it takes to take on the empire find out with super star wars available now And after 13 years, I can finally say I have absolutely no urge to play this game. New Asteroids is here for PC and PlayStation with 3D graphics, deadlier weapons, and two-player action. It's the most addictive game ever. Ever. Raymond! You're a weak man, Ray. Asteroids, they're back. In a society rich in poverty, in a civilization full of unrest, it is your duty as the dictator of an obscure Caribbean island to bring progress to your nation, to build farms, factories, and luxury resorts to gain your people's favor, and to make sure any that oppose you have a nice little jail cell waiting for their arrival. Tropical. From the creators of Railroad Tycoon 2 comes Tropical, an addictive mix of building-oriented gameplay and political intrigue. For the PC and Macintosh, Rapico taking office 2001. Hey, who's there? Probably just a critter.
He's around here somewhere. Hmm. Well, I guess it was nothing, eh? Oh shit. Fuck. Okay, is there some stuff to explore still if you want to? Okay, well, let's start at the top, I guess. I don't know. Let's start here. Can I come back to this? No. I wanted to do something when I. Uh, a break. I thought about something. Oh, this doesn't lead me back to to Aronax. I don't even know what this place is. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> These things are very, as you can see, they're fucking death claws. But no match for a crazy team of, uh, of crazy people. And the fact that the game doesn't care if you die or whatever during a fight. If you're, if these guys can heal you in a certain, there's a certain amount of time. You're good. Was this everything? I didn't go in here. Old stuff. What? What? What is this? Wow, 
minus 26. This might take a while. Show me a potion. Does anybody here have a potion? Or yeah, he has one. You have some. I know that during one fight, my bar here just went poof. I'm gonna get out and sleep. Krig Krigers Krigers Sfalcon. 3550 damage, speed 15. That's amazing. I'm gonna give it to my best fighter. You. Oh shit, that broke. Oh my god. Well, okay, whatever. That's bad that it broke. That was an amazing armor. By amazing, I mean it sucks, but who cares? It's not like the game is stuff or anything. I'm gonna push through. <laughs> normally, this is something that would annoy me. Well, normally, like a couple of years ago, I'd be like, no. Even today, you can sometimes see the remnants of my old self, like when I 
get Anola by losing a sword like in Baldur's Gate where I reloaded my game a couple of times just to find where the fuck I left that sword and I don't even know exactly what happened. Um, should I even go here at this point? We've, we're done with this dungeon. I think we, we took what we had to take. Okay, let's sleep. Um, sorry, I didn't. I didn't enter this. Okay. Doing 50 damage per hit. I wouldn't be surprised if we get the. Uh, because that was pretty much uh, the ultimate uh, melee magical weapon. I wouldn't be surprised if. Well, I mean, technically we shouldn't find tech stuff here. It wouldn't really make any sense. In a normal game, you'll get both of these weapons, but I wouldn't be surprised if there is no tech weapon here. Holy shit, what the fuck is this? Whoa, 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 whoa. Demon. Karaktor. Oh, I, I heard about you. Who dares disturb the mighty Karaktor? I suppose that would be me. Dreadfully sorry about that. Sorry. Sorry? Do you have any idea the powers I can bring to bear against you? The wrath of Karaktor knows no bounds. I'm very sure. Perhaps I could ask you a few questions, oh mighty one. Yes, yes, I'm very sure about that. Listen, I need some help. You're quite an annoying fellow, aren't you? I suppose I might let you live enough to answer some question. Why don't you tell me a bit about yourself? What's your opinion of Kurgan the Terrible? Perhaps you'd like to join me in destroying Kurgan. Tell me about yourself. Your life in Arcana. My life in Arcana was a millennia ago. Such are the lives of gods. But I will tell you. Once I was a mere mortal, just as you are. I lived in a small village where I was ridiculed and belittled just for being different. Granted, I may not have always been e the easiest person to live with, but isn't that the way of strong men? I was a visionary and I was scorned be because of it. So I was out adventuring as I was prone to do, and I happened across an old temple in the mountains. There I found an old scroll which described a spell so powerful, so horrible then I still believe it was hidden away on purpose. Before me, there had been no man in the history of Arcanum what could, could have handled such old and powerful magic. This scroll described a spell to transform a man into a terrible dragon beast, he gestured to himself. All that required was the right toward the white words and a drop of dragon's blood. As you can probably guess, dragon's blood is usually in fair short supply. The last dragon in Arcanum was Belogrim, the mightiest, most fearsome creature who walked the land, and so I went straight to his lair and battled him to the death in order to get a single drop of blood. It was a ferocious battle, but in the end I was victorious. Even as a mortal man, I was very, very brave and powerful. And so, with the blood of Belogrim the dragon, I used the scroll and became the evil destructive Karak Krakator. 
the mighty Krakator, pillager of cities, devourer of women and children. And Karakator roars with. I think I understand. A few more questions? How did you get sent here? I was sent here only by the efforts of powerful elven council led by Nasrudin himself. There was a colossal battle between us, and only through sheer force of their numbers did they finally subdue the mighty Krakator. Nasruddin hid like a coward, while his minions died by the thousands. I was banished, but never defeated. I am Krakator. I... Right. I have a few questions about you. What have you been doing over here? I've been spreading terror here, as I did in Arcanum. Look around you. This is the Valley of Death. No one has survived the fury of Karator. Questions? A few more questions. What's your opinion of Kurgan the Terrible? Kurgan, the massive creature in front of you, seems to cringe. What do you mean? What do you what do you want with Kurgan? I'm looking to destroy him. I need to the help of mighty Krakator. My, I don't believe I've ever seen such a cowardly creature. Perhaps you're not as terrible as I viciously and vicious as I thought. I'm looking to destroy him. Perhaps what exactly is going on? Tell him. I see. The creature rears to its full height, nostrils streaming. So, you ask the terrible Krakator for his help in battling evil Kurgan. Fight the fire with fire. I shall destroy that bumbling necromancer with a great sweep of my claw. His blood will flow. A mighty Krakator passes his judgment. All will cower before the power of Krakator. You make it sound so easy. Why have you done this before? Well, <laughs> you know how things are over here in the voids. So many things to do and... Uh, and Kurgan was such an insignificant peon. Yes, that's it. I need not worry about crushing the poor fool. I figured I'd uh, let him wait. Wonder why mighty Krakator would appear to rend him from limb to limb. I see, he must be scared beyond belief. Yes, I know he's a little frightened little child, shivering with his great keep. Let him shiver, for Krakator is all-powerful, omnipotent, horrible as the great dragons of old. I shall swoop down on wings of fury, cleansing him with ancient fire. I will. Yes, I'm very sure. Now, will you help me? Now, let's not rush into things. I mean, this is Kurgan the Terrible we're talking about. Not that I will have any trouble dispatching him, of course, for I am Krakator. The ruination of past, present, and future. The... Yes, please. What are you saying? Krakator expects payment for his services. Oh, did you think I would come to your rescue without some sort of offering? You must pay your respect. Krakator exact a, a heavy toll. Entire villages have been sacrificed to appease me. For I am... Let's see, wait. I think I have your, your eye here somewhere. Do I possible wait my eye how oh, in the name of the gods did you come across that tell him i don't even remember interesting i should kill you just for bringing it back to me for i am the awesome krakator maidens tremble when they hear my name i roam the nightmares of your children i do you have a deal or not hmm, yes i suppose i have been missing my eye for quite a while i suppose i could take it in payment for my services against this uh, this madman so you'll join me Krakator will not travel with so many mortals. Bye! It's fucking Krakator. And that, that was it for this place? Pretty much. Okay. Wait, human bandit. This man has a look of fierce warrior. His heavy, muscled body is covered in scars and tattoos. He sniffs the air as you approach. A fresh revival, eh? You still have the smell of the world on you. I see who you are. I've been known by many names, but the only one that matters now is the Bane of Cree. That is the name I was known by when I wielded power over men. How did you come by that name? So, do I just call you Bane, or would you prefer Mr. Cree? <laughs> Cree was where I forced the world. 
You respect my power. No one had ever breached the great walls of Cree, for my horde swarmed over them as if they were but a mirage. I held the fate of every man, woman, and child in my hand, and showed them no mercy. His eyes glaze over as he looks into the distance, severing his moment of glory once again. If only I could return to Arcanum. You mean you savagely murdered them without cause, coward? That is truly impressive story. I could use a man of your talents. Is that why you were... Is that when you were using the Bajillion Scourge? I almost want to say this. He is on you faster than you can imagine, with his blade at your throat. Do not mock me, it will be your last mistake. I meant no offense, please accept my apologies. Tre threaten me was your last mistake, savage. Push your, his blade away. What were you talking about? He smiles lightly and she did his sword. I like a man of courage, not many could face my sword without snivering. Sniveling for mercy. I need your help to kill Kurgan. Kurgan, he spits. Welcome the chance to sit his throat. He hesitates, but after what he did, what did he do? He looks away, seemingly in shame. He defeated me in battle soon after he arrived here. After delivering the killing blow, he brought me back to life to taunt me. I have waited long years for the, for the chance to make him pay for that. I know the feeling. Join me. He looks at you suspiciously. Why should I join you? I will bring you back to Arcanum with me afterward, truth. I will bring you back, I lie, a taste of victory on the field of battle once again. Let's lie. <laughs> I'm not sure. I look. I like the looks of your party. Yeah, I'm too good for him. I tire of your babble. Leave me be. Good day. We're missing one guy that was banished. He's gonna be here. Uh, no, we're back. These Dark Champion have things on them, medallion. It is done. It is done. Move. Well, that's safe. It is done. Move. I cannot do that for you. Oh shit, he doesn't have the green thingy around him. He's, he's saved, maybe? I Many know. thanks for releasing me from my horribly lengthy incarceration, sir. I am at your service. Oh, he sounds like a doofus. It is high time we showed Kurgan the error, error of his ways. I don't think so. I'll be doing this myself. I don't need your help. Let us send Kurgan off to that death he finds so compelling, shall we? Max. How do we find Kurgan? I do not know. There is a portal in the room behind me. Perhaps we can use it to travel to the other parts of the void. Questions. What is it that you wish of me, then? What happened? Why did this for Venom go? We asked him about all this, I think. I do not know. What is it that... When they began constructing their device to protect themselves from my unprov... What is it that you... When I first came here and... Okay, and he joined us, even though we're, like, so full. We now have... We are 10, we are a party of 10, we have 9 companions. Let's go, and I could even get my spider out to get more. And there's one place here on the left here I didn't go. Let's do another save here with this entire party. Or in 5. 
and we're right in front of the door if I want to finish the game if this thing here doesn't lead anywhere Oh, this leads to the circle of portals. It's crazy. Let's go on portal number one. Oh, uh, we've been here. Shit. Okay, what I'm gonna do... Oh, well, this is kind of useless, but... Uh, I'm gonna save... Uh, so we, we might have always already been to all the places. This is like a shortcut. Yeah, let's do a save right here. Portals. Okay, we went here, let's go there. Oh, let's do a quick save right here. Yeah, we've been here. Did I do this one? Not sure. Another place we've been to. Yep. This is almost a waste of time, but just to be thorough. I reload because the only way to go back here would be to do the whole thing again. Uh, let's save here. Yeah. And the last one, or second to last. where the guy was. Maybe I should have just kill the dude. Oh no, this wasn't the demon. Yeah, this was a demon. Let's kill this fucker. Didn't I tell him I'm gonna kill you? Well, I can just do this. The mighty Kawaktor. I want to see you at something. Most other. assuredly. I do not believe I will be doing that. Go away, guys. Nothing on him? Shit. it up by saving over the quick save okay i think there was one more portal this one maybe or i just did yeah it was valuable by himself the mighty character yep nope okay let's go let's go inside There's a bunch of levels here. Too many 
people. Okay, yeah, this is the place I need to go uh, all the way here. Yep, yeah, that's the last teleport for uh, not Aronax, uh, Ergan, or whatever. What's his name? Uh, I said it before, they, they didn't. Even though they switched evil, <laughs> they switched uh, the bad guy, it was Iron Axe, and now it's not. Um, it was never a good... The bad guy in this game really sucks, in, in terms of, like, we, we don't hate him. Who is that guy? Now we know even less than we knew before. And I'm pretty sure I can talk myself out of this, like the end of Fallout. You, you don't have to fight this guy. Greetings. Long have I waited for your arrival, and finally this moment has come. I am Kurgan, first of the Necromancers, Voyager in the lands of the dead. I see, not exactly the person I originally expected. I would think not. Although the presence of Aranax tells me you already know much of my tale, at least as much as he deemed necessary in order to bring you into his confidence. He told me enough. I've come to put an end to your madness. I've heard this side of story. Tell me yours. I hate to impose, but could you tell me what's going on here? I don't know what's going on, but I know I don't like it. Tell me yours. My life. In the world you call Arcanum, seems so very distant. The memories clouded like those of a child, and a child I was then, probing the darker magics, given glimpses of the truths yet to come. The Council, were they right about the magic? Look at you. Yes, look at me. And what do you see? A monster? An abomination? You've no idea what I've discovered. You see with eyes tainted by life and all which that accursed state embodies. My vision is clear because of those magics you hold in disdain. And the Council, it is they I have to thank for it. <coughs> but they banish you. Why would you thank them? <laughs> in your world, your Arcanum. I was powerful. Perhaps the most powerful human magicka who has ever been. But to humans, cursed with our shortness of life, our brevity, what is this power? What can be learned in that impermanent spark that is our lives? Nothing. But here, in this so-called prison, there are no limits. There is no end. This place, this void, has no time as you know it. I've been here for more than 2,000 of your years, and yet I've aged not at all. I feel as I did the moment they sent me here, or as when the Dark Elves first called to me. Do you now see? Here I can do everything I did in your world. But I am unfettered by the chains of mortality that time hangs upon us. Fine, then stay here and leave our world be. But the Dark Hells thought they were calling to Aronax. Yes, I know. Ironic, isn't it? It was on my ears that their feeble and pathetic cries had fallen. To me, Kurgan who had defeated their master and thrown him in chains. Kurgan, who had manipulated them into subverting the Panari and weakening the wars. Kurgan, who used them to send me the dwarves of the Black Mountain Clan, who have now finished the bridge back to Arcanum. But why, if you like it so much here, leave us alone? I truly wish I could. My reasons for returning aren't what you'd think. 
I had no aspirations for power or domination like your companion Aranax did. Aspirations that I became the victim of. No. Those are the motivations of the living, and I no longer place myself among them. Then what? What is it you want? If only I could show you the places I've seen, you might understand the things I say. I've been to the desolate lands, wandered by those souls who still see the lands of the living, but wear the cloak of the dead. Blind to their own ends, they cry, passing through one another like shadows in the dying light of day. I've traveled to where souls rot in torment, pierced with the jagged shards of life and vision, clinging to memory, regrets of the flesh. I saw that this prison was of their own making, and the key was in unknowing, in release. And still, I traveled on. And finally, I came to the place where souls go to die, where the mirrored and worn spirits fall into an endless sea of gray, mirrored glass. And I lowered myself within, and lay there among them, and I almost did not return. And do you know what I found there? There, among the silent and battered shells of the innumerable, peace, enlightenment, truth. Only then did I realize that this place, this life, is an abomination, a horrible distortion of the natural order. This life, who mothered pain and fear and envy, these twisted children who exist only because we are here to feed them, to nourish them. This life, this afterthought, a disturbance, a mere ripple in that great dead sea, not even the cause, but merely an effect, sending these souls upward, screaming for release from the day they are torn from their waters. The effect of what? I do not know, nor do I care. Have you ever spoken with the dead? Call to them from this side? Pull them from their silent rest? I tried, it sucked. What it is that they feel? Pain. Pain. Pain when torn into this wakefulness. This reminder of the chaos from which they had escaped. Pain at having to live. There will be no more pain. There will be no more chaos. I see your soul, Traveler. It screams, tattered and spinned. Do you feel its pull? Do you hear its wailing? It is within my power to calm these waters, and that is what I shall do. I suppose that's a different sort of way to look at things. Hold, hold on a moment. Might I speak with you? Of course, Virgil. What he is saying, it's not completely untrue. I've seen the places he speaks of, felt the peace and serenity of that great dead sea. It's not something I'll ever forget. What are you saying, Virgil? Do you agree with Kurgan? Of course not. I made my choice a long time ago, and I choose to stand with you. Yes, there is pain in life, pain and loss and sorrow, but there is also joy and the pleasures of growing and learning. You can't have one without the other, and I wouldn't want to sacrifice either. But in the end, I stand with you, whatever your choice. Thank you, Virgil. As for you, Kurgan. I can no longer tolerate the atrocities that this thing, this life, has brought about. There will be peace. There will be quiet. Life will no longer be. And so I go to Arcanum to be an end to it. And then I will join the souls of the dead when it is done. I see you're really quite mad, you know. An interesting point of view. Can I, I can see the mirror that owns. A few more questions. Perhaps I could persuade you otherwise. You may be wrong. Am I? It all depends on your point of view. 
Take yourself, for example. You've been told from the beginning of your adventure that you're the second coming of Nazruddin, the return of the Living One. Do you believe it? No, I think it's a bunch of drivel. Of course, and I plan on fulfilling it. Probably important, either way, you're going to die. I'm not one to discuss anything. But I'd be inclined to say no. Perhaps it's best that I be going. <laughs> Let's go with this. As well you should. There are no prophecies. It's just the nature of living things to want to conform their existence to a foreseeable pattern. To attempt to exert control over the chaos that surrounds them. Life by its very nature disallows this. Life is an accident, the result of random chance. Therefore, its nature can be no different. Guess the point. What does it have to do with your insanity? That's your opinion. Can you support it? There are those who would look at all that has happened to you, and then look at you, and call you a madman for not believing in the prophecy. Your opinion is based on what you have seen, what you know. My perceptions on the nature of life and death are no different. Splendid. I've spent the last 2,000 years developing my philosophy, but I'm always eager to hear another's thoughts. Please. Uh, let's try to kill him. Make him kill himself. <laughs> I don't know if that's going to happen, but that that's what I expect, because this is very Fallout-ish, and I know that... Uh, I, I think the first time I played, I just killed him. But since then, I saw many reviews and people talking about this game. I know that you can talk this way out. To, to, to You can talk to death. Uh, speak of the nature of life and death. Yes, let us speak of this. It is my opinion that the nature of life is accidental. That this reality we experience is merely a distortion of death. What say you, Traveler? As you've said, I have only my experience to draw from. I think you're making generalizations. Open your eyes. Generalizations? Do you doubt that I am intimately familiar with what we're speaking of here? Perhaps you're not the man I thought. Of course not. I only have my experience to draw from. Yes. But what has that experience taught you? No? Okay. I know not the roads you've traveled. But I do know that all living things feel pain and loss. It's my opinion that they feel these things because they were never meant for what we know as life. Their souls are not equipped for it. Experience has taught, up that, has taught me that fanatism is dangerous. Old Kurgan, that assumption is based on your experience. Is it presumptuous of you to make the decision for everyone? Yes, you are correct. I concede you that point. But I have seen both sides, whereas you have only the land of the living. Trust me when I say that the souls who are called back to this life are in the most excruciating pain. It's unnatural. Maybe your opinion bias your observations. I think you're refusing to see the truth. Yes, but... But perhaps that is the nature of those particular souls.
I don't want to ask him a question. I want to like confront him. Let's try this. Are you saying that I can't trust the sight of my own eyes? You presume too much, traveler. You've no idea the things I've endured. Let's just battle and be done with it. Endured by all the souls of the dead because yes. of the thoughtlessness of the living. Yes, but perhaps that is the nature of those particular souls. No, I've heard enough. You must choose. Either you see the truth of my words or you do not. Tell me on which side. Okay, you I think I failed the the perform. Anyway. I felt the talking part. I chose life, I destroyed you. I shall send you to that great dead sea. And then you shall know. He has a ton of shit of shit points. <laughs> Oh, he has a ton of shit points. Holy fuck. Seems we've underestimated our opponents. I... It seems we've underestimated our opponents. I am dying. Who's dying? Aronax? Aronax dying. It's possible. I don't think he has any equipment compared to all the others. Oh, I just died. Come on, re resurrect me, please. Resurrect, resurrect. Oh, there's so many enemies in the screen. Oh my god. No. Ah, uh, we'll have to do this again? Well, I can choose something else this time. I'll go, I'll fast forward through the conversation. Greetings. I would think not. Uh, Although the pre Tell me yours. This place, this void, has. Yes, I tr If only I could show you the places I've seen. You I see you. Hold, hold on a moment. What? Of course. I can no longer tolerate the atrocities at this. Persuade. It all depends on your point of view. No, I think it's all a bunch of drivel. You've been told from the beginning of your adventure that you're the second coming of Nazgudin. The return of the living, as well you should. I thought the drivel was talking about what he was prophecies. It's just the nature of living. Can you support it? Look at all that has happened to you, and then look at you, and call you a madman for not believing. I have a few words to say, very well. Let us speak of this. It is my opinion that the nature of life is accidental. Yes. But what has that experience taught you? I know not the road you've tried. What? It is for the strong to make decisions such as these. What some people call presumption or fanaticism, I call solidity of purpose. I'm not sure that you've the strength of character to understand what I'm saying. Yes, you're correct. I concede you that point, but... I have seen both sides, whereas you have only the... Are you saying that I can't trust the sight of my... I did that last time. You presume to... I think I'm failing again, I don't know. No, I've heard enough. You must... Ah, uh, fuck it. Alright, let's go and turn base this time. And then you shall know. Summoning all the elementals. Okay, it's our turn. Uh, okay, yeah. Oh, that's it.
all getting hit. Thanks. It's our turn. I cannot see the target. What? I cannot see the target because of the rain? Come on. Oh, okay. I can do much here. Wow. Oh my god. Ugh. This rain isn't great. That's Raven's fault, I think. Or it was. Ar this is Arvonax. Maybe it was Arvonax. Oh, he's fucking dying. Let's try to heal him, even though our heal might actually not do anything. Even though it doesn't really matter, usually at the end of a game, I like to have all my party alive. Like, an added challenge that I like to put on my soul. Okay, it's our turn. Um, yeah, we only have minor healing. Well, actually, I could... I could level up. I have five points right now. Uh, yeah, let's give us all, all the way to resurrect. There you go. Yeah, but most game it doesn't really matter. You just need to survive. And I even finished, I think it was Baldur's Gate, I even finished a game while the, I was dead, but the, the the bad guy was dead and the script for the ending just came on. Well, I was technically not alive. Um, it's the Necromantic White. Major healing. Oh. Of course, that didn't work. Oh, it did. Okay, great. Now let's attack him. Let's go. Yeah, technically not alive. Like if the game actually continued afterwards, it, w it wouldn't. How much point we're talking about here? This rain is the worst. Look at the damage it did on all my guys. Yeah, it does damage on him and it does so much more damage on us. Yeah, yeah. All the things. Blinded. She's fucking blinded now. He's more than halfway done. Uh, let's look at the health of everybody. Yeah, it's all good. It's all good. Oh, nice. Some good shots here. Ouch. And then we have to use Avenger God on it. I don't know if I need to use it in the fight or... It's just gonna do it automatically or what? I hope it just does it automatically. Okay, how much damage we're talking about here? Oh, he's almost done. Wow, look at the non-damage that I'm doing. I'm not really the one doing damage anymore. And these guys with their 30 damage, it's so amazing. Ah, oh, shut up. Like, he's doing that every round? What the fuck? Kraken wasn't able to attack us, even. He sucks. He missed all his shots. No, it's our turn.
You're so fucked. I think he's healing himself? Maybe not. Maybe it's us. Probably one of our guys. I don't know what's going on there. It's just, the fight's going on. Oh! Is he almost done? I want a killing blow. That would be nice. Is this why I use the, the, the device or... I'm afraid because I'll have to do the fight again if I if I don't do it correctly. Let's just kill the fucker. There you go. Uh oh. Yeah, I think we need to use a device right now. But I don't have the device, somebody else has it. What are you doing? Somebody just heal me. Did he, is it, he's attacking me? Oh no, okay. I think Aronax is not, uh, Kurgan is not an enemy anymore because my NPCs are going away and attacking other characters now. Yeah, exactly. They're going away now. So yeah, I need to... Well, that's cool because they need to get away so that I can n get near him. It's a shame I can't save in the fight. Okay, they're all going away, which is nice. Um, I just hope I can switch stuff from inventory to inventory. I can't look at his inventory. Are you fucking shitting me? I don't have the device in my inventory. It's in his inventory, I think. Ah, oh, come on, man. Maybe if we kill everybody, we'll, we'll get out of battle. Can we get out of battle? No. Where are the enemies? I'm not gonna attack him. Let's go real time. I can't save you. I can! I can, I didn't... I didn't realize. Um, yeah, let's go in real time. <laughs> Oh my god, that fucking rain. No, real time, I said. But oh, this is real time. I can't check inventory. Fuck me. They, they didn't think that maybe the vendor god device might not be on your main character. Come on. And he's unkillable now. I don't want to reload. Fuck this. If I have to reload, I'll just find a way to do the talky, talky way. Fuck this. Uh, kill everyone next. The bane of...
Yeah, just use their Vendigrat advice on him. God damn it. I can't. I would need to kill this guy. <laughs> Let's kill Magnus. Where is he? Oh, it's so laggy. Fuck you, Magnus. You die. Oh, I can't. Can I do this? No, I can't because when I'm clicking all over the place, I never can hit my guy, which is which is nice, but now it means that I cannot kill. Even if I do attack? No. Ugh, I'll have to reload. Can you believe this shit? Well, it's my fault. I mean, I should have had the, the, the device on me. Go. Greetings. Long, I would think not. Although the presence of Aranax tells me you already know much of my tale. It my life. Yeah. This place, this void, has no time as you know it. I've been here for more. I truly. If only I could show you the. I see. Hold, hold on. What he is? Of course. I can no longer tolerate the atrocities that this thing, this life, has brought about. Am I? It all depends on your point of view. Take yourself, for example. You've been told from the beginning of your adventure that you as well you should. There are no prophecies. It's just the nature of living things to want to conform. There are those who would look at all that has happened to you, and then look at you. That only bothers you because you see your creation as the natural order of things. I've told you it's only the effect of a meddler, the incoherent scribblings of a child. And why not? I realize that you follow the way of the righteous, or it Are you daft, man? Are you not listening to what this madman is proposing? He will kill every living being in both realms, including you. Whisper, I think I can convince him he's wrong. Okay, let's try this. I think you have taken leave of your senses. I will allow you this attempt at a peaceful resolution, even though I doubt it as much hope of success. Splendid. I've spent the last. Oh, we've done that. Nature of life and death. Yes. Let us speak of this. It is my opinion that the nature of life is accidental. That this reality we experience. Generalization? Yes. But what has that experience taught you? What? It is for the strong to make decisions such as these. What some people call presumption or fanaticism. No, I've heard enough. I really don't know what to do, um, how to do this. And then you shall know. Not with ones and twos that we're gonna do much. Yeah, get the fuck out of there, dude. You suck. You also suck. Get out of there. Yeah, exactly. Make some place for this guy. This guy needs to go there. Why does everybody move? Ah, oh, fuck off.
Well, at least it's better than using that fucking water. That was just stupid. Oh, stop it, stop it, stop it. Ow. Oh, now they're focusing on me now. save here. Seems we've underestimated our opponents. I am dying. Fuck it. Uh... I could resurrect them. Crazy. Uh, I saw him for a second. I think. No. So says dead. time over. Oh, he, uh, he's back to his normal form. No, no, no. Damn it. this here now use this on Kurgan.
Also, the music of the fight going in the background kind of sucks. The defeat of Lucan and his henchmen, coupled with your freeing of the ghost of Bessie Toon, enabled Shrouded Hills to grow and become a thriving community I once know this again. Voice. A new silver vein is discovered in the old Bessie Toon mine. Workers pour into town by the dozens, and within a few years, Shrouded Hills is a bustling boom town. Such towns often have problems keeping the peace. Shrouded Hills has no such trouble mainly due to the efforts of their new sheriff, Doc Roberts. Because of the death of Darian Mogg, Clan Mogg soon found itself overrun by Pollock and his gang, and quickly vanished. Without an opponent to challenge him, Pollock set his sights beyond the boil, and it wasn't long before all of Tarant was shadowy and crime-ridden. Maximilian was returned to Dernholm, and all of Cumbria rejoiced in the return of their rightful king. Under the new rule of Maximilian, Cumbria quickly grew into a powerful nation, embracing both magic and technology. And once again, the proud banner of the Dragon Knights flew from the ramparts of Dernholm Castle, set there by their new captain, Liana Peldar. Because of your outstanding efforts in the negotiating of the terms for Caledon's membership into the Unified Kingdom, Durant continued to prosper while Caledon's influence waned in the following years. Caledon never reached its fullest potential, mainly due to the watchful eye of the Tarantian Industrial Council. The long-standing deception of the Panari by the Dark Elves was finally brought to light. Alexander became the new High Priest of the Panari, and he wrote a new chapter for the Archeon based on his experiences with the Living One. Under the continued leadership of Logair Thunderstone, the Wheel Clan came out of seclusion and rejoined the world. Logair himself lived for more than 800 years, and songs are still sung about his bravery and courage. Khan Karai of the Bedokan made a lasting peace with the elves of Kintara, and together they rid the glimmering forests and the dark fens of poachers and of the spoilers of the land. In time, the Bedokan became a more civilized people, sharing in the wonders of the new age. Yet, after all of this, Arcanum is still what it always was, a place of possibility, a place of change. One thing is certain, and that is that nothing at all is ever certain in this place. Who's to say what the future holds for the land we call Arcanum? So I think there were supposed to be slides at the end there, but we didn't get them for reasons. Um, I want to see how to... I've chosen the dialogue option, which make him tell you what has happened, and that is story animation. Then I tried to convince him he was wrong. I chose the prophecy as a drivel. Uh, then that my opinion does not destroy creation. Then I chose that he is offer is tempting or something. Then I told Aronax that I'm tricking him. Then I started to tell him that his opinion derives from generalization. That he took his opinion from what he's seen. That you've seen other spirits which don't live in pain. Ah, shit. I don't know if we've seen period that don't live, spirits that don't live in pain. Ah, uh, maybe we're missing this information. Those who do live like that because they held too tightly on something. Hmm. Let's see. Let's see if we can try it.
so there was something weird at the end there where they said that Tarant for some reason I, I think because I didn't kill all the the the, the bandits and all that um, like clear out the, the boils I could have cleared out the boils maybe that would have made a better ending for Tarant but but later they said that Tarant like crushed Kalada but that doesn't make any sense because they just said that Tarant was kind of crime ridden and much ruins and ruins they said anyway greetings long i would think not although the presence of aranax tells me you already know much as my time yours blah 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 this, place, this void has yes i truly wish if only i could I've seen I... hold on a moment what of course i can no longer tolerate the atrocities that this thing this life has brought about the questions. I was the first of the necro. Of course. Arona. Of course. Like, do I need to do all this? Began. The Black Mountain Clan. Of course. The Dark Elves began calling across the void soon after Aronax had been banished. By the time their feeble cries were heard, their master was already defeated. And in prison. The Black Mountain. Of course. I want the end to. Of course. I can no longer tolerate the atrocities that this thing. This. Am I? It all depends on your point of view. I think it's a bunch of. As well you should. There are no prophecies. It's just the nature of living things to want to. Go. There are those who would look at all that has happened to you and then look at you. Doesn't threaten the whole of creation. It only bothers you because you see your creation as the natural order of things. Perhaps. Are you daft, man? No. I think you have taken. Yes. Okay. Yes. Let us speak of this. It is generalization. Yes. But what has that experience taught you? I know not the roads you've traveled, but I do. Your experience. Yes, you are correct. I concede you that point, but I have seen both sides. Perhaps I made sure those particular souls. Oh, uh, I think I didn't. I didn't go here last time. Shit! I thought I did it. No, some souls are in pain. Just they hold on too tightly. No, it's fate that some will suffer and some rest in peace. There's no rhyme reason. It's just the way things are. Hold on too tightly. You speak as if these souls have a choice when they're brought back. It's the mindless provider of the living that subjects them to the vagaries of this life. Even the dead have a choice. The blame is theirs. No, but the pain is of their own making. I'm willing to say you might be correct. But what proof have you? What proof do I need? Your state is the only proof necessary. You have spoken with souls who weren't in pain. Just because some souls have accepted the nature of this distortion doesn't justify its existence. If what you're saying is correct, then what is the nature of death? Of life? Which is the natural state? Why is there pain on one side and uncertainty on the other? The distortion is caused by the eyes which we choose to see. Perhaps it is my own arrogance, my own bravado that has brought us here to this crossroads. The question is, where do we go from here? We've spoken of fate, of prophecy. Have I traveled this road too long to turn back? Perhaps I have no choice but to continue on to the end. I have a solution. I can free you once and for all. Truly. I wish there were freedom for me. But I cannot let go of this life knowing that I might be called back to its pain. No. It seems I have no choice. The Vendor God device will serve you. It will sever you from this world forever. Really? You can sever the bonds which hold my soul to the lands of the living? This... Object can actually do that. I could, but I'd rather kill you with my own hands. <laughs> yes, I can free you from the pain that you fear. So many years I've raged against the living. 
all those years, and the distortion was in my own soul. No man can see the nature of his flaws with diseased eyes. The contradiction lies within me. Let me end your journey, Kurgan. Go to your rest. Yes. I thank you. And I'm sorry. So very, very sorry. Perhaps some souls are born into death. They never knew how to live. Yes, I think you might be right. I wonder if there's going to be a different cutscene here. Because the last cutscene when he went into the vendor grab device, it was a dragon. Goodbye, traveler. My road ends here. I wish you luck on yours. Ah, uh, I guess not. <laughs> still explosion here really nice i like it a lot it's not repeat of just and his henchmen oh, it's coupled with simple the but the ghost really of nice. Tomb enabled shrouded hills to grow and become a thriving community once again a new silver vein is discovered in the old bessie Tomb mine so yeah shrouded hills just works perfectly and within a few years shrouded hills is a bustling boom town yeah. Such towns often have problems keeping the peace. Shrouded Hills has nope. no such trouble, mainly due to the efforts of their new sheriff, Doc Roberts. Maximilian was returned to Dernholm, and all of Cumbria rejoiced in the return of their rightful king. Under the new rule of Maximilian, Cumbria quickly grew into a powerful nation, embracing both magic and technology. So Cumbria became a powerful nation. Again, the proud banner of the Dragon Knights flew from the ramparts of Dernholm Castle, set there by their new captain, Liana Peldar. Because of your outstanding efforts in the negotiating of the terms for Caledon's membership into the Unified Kingdom, Durant continued to prosper, while Caledon's influence waned in the following years. Caledon never reached its fullest potential, mainly due to the watchful eye of the Tarantian Industrial Council. Wait. Under the continued leadership of Logair Thunderstone, the Wheel Clan came out as a... They skipped around to was crime ridden. Logair himself lived for more than 800 years, and songs are still sung about his bravery and courage. Upon returning to Arcanum, Aranax buried his father on the Isle of Thanatos. Later, he traveled to the Vendergroth Wastes and there used his powers and single-handedly raised the city from the ruins it had become. Vendergroth again became a place of awe and wonder. Yet, okay. after all of this, Arcanum is still... Why did we get that last time? A place of possibility. A place of change. The little epilogues were not the same. And that is... That nothing at all is ever certain in this place. Well, I mean, this game is not perfect. What the future holds, but the land. And even Fallout, which is reputed to have less bugs and be more perfect, um, the the endings kind of sometimes clash with each other. Uh, like the end ending, uh, stills. I I want to look at a YouTube video of this to see if the ending if you're supposed to see the the ending slides or it's just because I'm playing in like window bolt or something and there's a bunch of other things I kind of activated patches and yeah, I'm missing a lot of those slides. You can look at them online, I think. Whoops. Am I? Just give me a second. Yeah, when the guy talks, it's supposed to show the slides of the the things he's talking about. Yeah, now he's, he skipped the Bekodan village, 
which we got rid of the poachers. They didn't mention that. They didn't mention the fact that we didn't totally remove the crime from Tarant, so Tarant was kind of like destroyed. But they mentioned the fact that Virgil, I think it was Virgil it said, that went to the ruins and of Vendergrad and like raised the ruins and now Vendergrad is still working. And like just because we uh, reloaded and did the talky part and now some stuff are missing from the epilogues and some, are, some stuff are there. If you mix, if you put everything there, I wonder if I, if I finish the game again, will it be different? Because glitches and some script don't pop when they should i don't know anyway this was a nice game it's a little uneven yes it's a little like funky but still a really good game that did stuff kind of differently even though nowadays i'm playing this and i'm playing baldur's gate at the same time and i can see like all the things that this game has that baldur's gate 3 also has but is way better implemented in Baldur's Gate. Um, there was like too many things, maybe. Absolutely, no finishing 28th stream game again, please. What are you talking about? There's gonna be many more. Ultima 7 was long, Ultima 6 was long. All the RPGs are, are long. That's, that's the way RPGs goes. That wasn't even a long RPG. There's worse. What are the longest? The easiest ways to go on YouTube. I'm gonna tell you the fucking long games I've played. So many long games. If I just go into the playlist, which is kind of not up to date at all. Uh, what do we have here? Like Ultima 5 was 19 streams. Might and Magic 6 was 24 streams. And Might and, Might and, Might and Magic 7 was 24 streams. That's just the way it goes. Baldur's Gate 2 was 47 streams. 47. So like I said, this game wasn't that long. 47 streams. 40. I can't like. Baldur's Gate 1 was 26 streams. Even though I would consider this game way longer than Baldur's Gate 1. Way like twice, maybe more. Again, I didn't do everything in Arcana. 65 stream Morrowind. <laughs> 23 streams Knights of the Old Republic. Like all the RPGs. Even StarCraft, 17 streams of StarCraft. Brood War, that's just Brood War, 17 streams. But Brood War was brutal. It was Brood War. 31 streams for Might and Magic 6. So, I, like, most RPGs are between 25 and sometimes it goes into the 40, 50 streams. It depends. It's like a thing that goes like that. It's after the 30 streams, it goes like sometimes it goes to 60 streams. And 60 stream doesn't mean much. It's usually about 2.5 hours, but it depends. Marwin walk speed. Oh no, it's not too bad. And that's not the reason the game was so long. It's because of the, the content I did in Marwin. I did every single content. Not every single quest, but like all the mages quests, um, the faction, one of the faction I chose, um, like the thief quests, the like there's the legion quest I think I did, like the the, the quest lines that are not, but I, I did the mage guild, the thief guilds, I think I did the warriors guild too, no that the warriors guild I think is the one I didn't do. But I did the one that was religiously more like more inclined, and I mean, plus all the expansions, it's crazy. Yeah, the Morrowind walk speed is just in the first couple of hours. It, you just have to get used to it, and if you just go where you need to go, it's fine. And the character I played, 
started with a, an abysmal speed uh, because I was playing a mage. So I, I put all my focus on magic and all my points in magic. It was working very well. I loved that. Uh, that's one of my favorite playthroughs that I did on stream. Morrowind. Morrowind and Might and Magic 3. My god. Those two games, when I streamed them, I had so much fun. Sometimes it's because of the interaction of chat, but sometimes it's just the game or it's both. Uh, but Morrowind, uh, so much better than Baldur's Gate 2. Oh, and I love Baldur's Gate. You know me. Baldur's Gate 1 is my favorite CRPG. It's my favorite RPG in general, even like all in all. But uh, Morrowind was just magical. And it was my first real playthrough where I, where I, I put all the time in it and finished it. I had played before, but never really took the time to do it. And it was just... I, now I understand why people are in love with Elder Scrolls games or why Morrowind was such a big game back then. And when it came out on console, one of my friends was so, like, so in love with that game. And back then, I think I was playing, like, Baldur's Gate and, and most games on, on PC. And I, I saw Morrowind more as a console game, kind of. I don't know. I was I, I might have been afraid the fact that since it was on console that it was consoleified or that it wasn't really a true PC game, uh, but it totally is at least the the way I played. I don't know if it might have been different than the original because I played with Morrowind. Uh, what's it called? Open Morrowind. Yeah, Open Morrowind. Um, the engine was super stable. The graphics were great. More view distance. I didn't like put mods in there except a couple of little things. Um, quality of life stuff. Um, but yeah, like picking up. One of the most notable was is picking up ingredients. Because if you want to pick up ingredients in this game, like you see a flower and you want to pick up the flower, when you click on the flower, it's like a chest. So it opens up the inventory interface and you click on the... The, the flower thing and then you pick it up and the mod did that when you clicked on the flower itself it just picked it up immediately like most games do right nowadays any game anyway the game that will re be replacing this I, i'm sure everybody's like on the edge of their seats what's after arcanum it's ultima 8 yes we're back to ultima because the essential plan here was like play an ultima game then switch to another rpg then ultima other rpg and now we're back to uh, like we played the Ultima 6, Ultima Underworld, Ultima Underworld 2, Ultima 7, Ultima 7 Part 2. And now I, I, after Ultima 7 Part 2, I needed a fresh, like kind of like I need a break from Ultima and I knew this game would take me there. This wasn't like a short game because the game that will probably be between Ultima 8 and 9 will be like Final Fantasy 4, which is somewhat short compared to this game. Um, but yeah, we're done with Arcanum. I wasn't like super. Uh, Sometimes when I get near the end of a game, I'm like excited to finish it, and I'm I'm like looking forward to the next game. That wasn't the case here. <laughs> I'm not really looking forward to Ultima Eight, and I've played it like a couple of minutes. I've installed it, played it. I still need to kind of check the manual and everything. If you want to see me rant, rage, see a broken game. Be there Monday. Monday we're starting that game. Uh, and Sunday we're starting... We're starting a bunch of games because I just finished... Uh, uh, like two back-to-back -back Star Trek games that were pretty short. So Sunday... Tomorrow no stream. Sunday we're playing Strike Force Centauri. This was this was, this will be my first playthrough of Strike Force Center, and I'm very excited because it's Looking Glass Studio, the guys who made System Shock, the Ultima games. Um, it's a mech game. It has FMV with real real actors. Um, so it's it's gonna be you know it's gonna be amazing. If not just for the FMV cheese, the cheesy acting and all that, you want to be there. Don't miss it. Sunday at eight. Or maybe 8.30. I'm not sure if I'll be able to start at 8. But it shouldn't be too uh, too late after 8 p.m. Thanks for watching, everyone. Thanks for hanging out.
More tabernacle. Yes, yes, maybe. Oh, yeah, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of tabernacle and Kalis uh, in Ultima 8 and probably in Ultima 9 too. The Ultima games have been uh, quite the experience, apart from Ultima Underworld 1 and 2 to a lesser extent. But even Ultima 7 Part 1, after maybe 10 streams, I was, I was pretty much done with the game. Ciao, guys. Have a great night, a great weekend. Thank you for your cooperation. Good night. I'll buy that for